Hello everyone. A bit of a gloomy February day for me today. I got cabin fever. Apparently it's called cabin fever. I don't know if they just tell you, hey, let's just put a label on it. Let's call it cabin fever. So then you just think, oh, it's okay. It's a normal thing. You don't have to worry. I think cabin fever means that you're bored with life. So maybe I'm bored with my life. I want more adventure. I've got a real tough decision to make. I know there's tons of channels out there looking to make a buck and live on the road. That would be okay. You could throw me in with one of those channels and I'd be, I'd be okay with that. Living on the road is just so romantic to me. I could live on the road rest of my life and I'm sure of it and I would love it I've always been the type of person I have to be on the go I am one of those people I cannot when I just sit around and do nothing a little bit of me dies inside every day at this point in my life I don't know I'm a 43 year old single guy with two kids, both age 11 right now. I really have no interest in in finding a woman, finding a girlfriend. And I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm still salty about my marriage. I know I wasn't perfect in the marriage, but Neither was she. And I'm not gonna put any blame on anybody. It just it just didn't work. But now we've got these kids trapped in the middle and they love us both very much. And not only is the divorce messing with my kids' life, it's messing with her life and it's messing with mine. She met a new guy and, and she wants to probably live with him and move into his house probably. And she's going to school in a different city. Kids are going to school here. We split the time weekly. It's just such a mess. Like I can't do anything. I'm basically stuck following them around wherever they go and just taking life as it's given to me. Either that or I just take off on my kids and I don't know what's worse. The other day I heard something where somebody had said, it was something that made me think a little bit. They said, do you want your kids to grow up watching you not fulfill your dreams? What's that going to teach them? But then I just can't. On the flip side, I love my kids so much. And there's no way I could abandon them. I just don't know. But I want to be on the road. I want to be in Arizona in the wintertime. I want to be up north. I want to work. I want to travel and work. And I want to help on the beet harvest in the fall and, and work camp. I think that's so cool. Just bust your butt for, you know, 10, 20 days, whatever it takes, and make a little cash. I'm not super nomadic where, like, I have to go. It would be nice to be able to travel every day to a new spot. But, I mean, I would be okay if I had to stay somewhere and, you know, put in my time at a restaurant or something for a while. The one thing I would really like to do, I've always been really good at mechanics, mechanic work, fixing things, even house fixing. I wouldn't mind doing that on the road too, you know. And my problem with work too is always like, I want to be good to people, I want to give them the best deal and do the best work I can for them. 
and sometimes I end up undercutting myself. But I don't care. I just I want. I would. It would just be like a thing where if somebody needed help, you know, if they needed their alternator replaced or something, twenty bucks. I'll, I'll replace your alternator. Thirty bucks. You know. And just consider it a tip. There's lots of little things I could do. You know, if somebody's got a leak, a water leak in their RV somewhere, they need the water pump replaced, I can do that stuff too. I can do it all. I do really good work. I take my time. I don't make a mess of things. I'm very organized. And I'm never in a rush to get things done. Well, take that back. Sometimes I have to slow myself down, but I've gotten really good at slowing myself down, so there's no rush work anymore. It's all take your time, get it done right. But not take your time to work only two hours a day. You know, I'm going to work at something till it's done. If I have to go to bed at night with something unfinished, it's not the easiest thing. <laughs> that isn't the easiest thing for me to do. But I do it because I don't want to mess up, you know, get in a rush and mess things up and take shortcuts. No. No. I don't mess around. I do things the right way. So, I mean, I could do that to work, pick a few bucks up, too. I'm just ready to go, guys. I'm just ready to hit the road. This furnace is never going to shut off. Hopefully that isn't too bothersome here in that air blowing around. Well, I gotta have the furnace on. It's cold today. It's not too cold. It's only about 20 degrees, 23, something like that. So it's pretty nice. Of course, the storms are missing us to the north. Whatever. There's just no reason to be here anymore. There's nothing in the winter. It's just cold. There's no snow. So you can't go snowmobiling around here anymore. It doesn't snow in the winter anymore. We've gotten two inches of snow all winter long. But yet it's just as cold as it's always been. And in the summertime we get tons of rain. It's so green here. More rain than I remember getting in the summer. Even into the fall. The falls around here used to be dry. The grass used to get brown in September and hard as a rock. Now it's lush green all the way till it rains all the way into october and then it's like once november comes around you might get a little bit of rain or a little snow but it just shuts off it's like somebody just shuts the spigot off and it's dry as a bone all the way till march again i'm hoping maybe get a couple storms in march where we can go snowmobile but i think this year i think I'm going to make it through the summer and then something's going to have to be figured out because I don't want to be here next winter. I want to be on the road. I want to be making videos. I want to be getting better at making videos. But that's pretty much all I have to say is I just want to hit the road and I need to figure out how I'm going to hit the road. Maybe I'll just have my kids during the summer. I don't know. It's going to be hard for me because I spend so much time with my kids already. And I know, you know, their mom's a good mom. She's nice. She doesn't, she's not a yell head. She's not psycho like that. But sometimes she's a little into what she's got going on, like her boyfriend and her school, and she doesn't have enough time to spread around to the kids. And she doesn't really talk to them at their level like an adult. You know, she kind of treats them a little bit like a kid. And the adults are talking, go sit down, you know, that type of thing. She won't say that, but it's that, you know, that type of attitude kind of. And I'm always there for my kids, you know. I might, I might lose control a little bit and freak kind of sometimes, not bad. I always catch myself. But 
I'm always involved. I'm always telling them things like, hey, she's just jealous. Uh, you know, I let them know why people do the things that they do. You know, something I was never taught, I had to pick up the hard way. And trust me, part of the reason why I'm so damn salty as a person is because of I, because I had to learn everything the hard way. I had to get screwed over by somebody to learn what their motives were, you know? To learn, oh my gosh, they were just pretending to be friends with me so they could steal something from me. You know, or backstab me, or get closer to my girlfriend, or, you know, people have motives. And it took me a long time to learn that. I just thought everybody was really cool, you know? But anyway. I do have a project in mind and I want to do it so I'm gonna show you guys okay okay I know once again it's a little dark but this is my project I want this bed gone I am so sick of the wasted space from this bed I know I talked about this project a little bit last year I need some light in here I talked about this I talked about this project a little bit last year okay I want this bed gone I want like some kind of couch bed on the back wall it would be nice to have a futon but it's way too narrow I would hate to have to remove the entire shelf this really needs some thought, and if anybody's got any ideas, they can definitely, I am definitely interested in hearing them. I don't need, I've got an extreme amount of storage space in here. <clears throat> and underneath here, that hole where everything goes, that is storage back there. From the outside, you open the doors, see how that is, you know, comes up like that? That could be taken out. That could completely be taken out. And the water tank could be pushed all the way back through there. You know, take all that out. It's it's quite the project, but I'm not scared to tear into anything. What's the worst I can do is screw it up. But I want this. I, I want this. I see the carpet does go all the way back. So I could... I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know guys, but this has got to change. This has got to change. Do you know how nice this back room would be without this giant bed in the way? I would put a decent TV back here and everything. I'd get it just set up beautifully. This would be the kick in it room. So yeah, I've got to, I've got to do some. There's no space. It looks like there's space now because the bed's jacked up in the air. But once you put that bed down, it is just brutal. So those are my plans, and that's what I plan on doing in the future when it warms up a little bit, probably in March, because I want to get it done, or maybe April. I wish I wasn't even here, guys. Oh, I don't want to get into that again. Today is an extra rough day, an extra, extra rough day. All right, guys, this is just a little update video on what's going on, but yeah, I need to do something here. This is this room could be so killer. I, I, I can see this room being super killer. But yeah, alright. Okay, once again guys. I know you're looking for some content. That's what I'm gonna give you some content. I don't know when I'm gonna start on this. I should just start on it today. And I might. I'm going to have to wait till it's warmer to get started on this, guys, because I can't afford the propane that it'll take to heat this thing. It's a decent rig. It's still got less than 60,000 on it. So, like I say, I mean, I got plenty of storage. And those, I got storage up there that I never use. These don't get very full. I mean, there's stuff in there that I don't even need. 
I need to clean this place up. Yeah. Owl feather. <laughs> Found dead owl alongside the road. That's where that came from. Wow, other than that, I'm happy with everything in this whole RV. I'm really happy with it. That couch right there, that is where I sleep. That is my favorite, favorite spot. And I don't mind, I don't mind the, the table there. That's fine. A lot of people don't like that area, but I, that's fine. I mean, you could get a lot more room taking that out, but this, this room has to be changed. Thanks for watching.